And first blush, your take on the earnings. So uh, two, two key things, right? So ROE over 9%, as you said, uh, and their wealth margin coming in at 25%. And so that echoes, we saw strength at uh, Bank of America. We saw strength at Wells Fargo. So that was a little precursor. But that's, those are two key metrics for Morgan Stanley. They're really focused on that ROE. And the pre-tax margin is, is one of the goals that they focused on to get there. Trading. Uh, fit dead in line, equities better, and the banking fees, that's something that we've seen across the banks this quarter, better fees. So what do we learn about Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs when it comes to FIC? Is this really all about commodities? I think it's just, you know... Or each, execution, which one? I think it, it could be a little bit of both. Um, every quarter is going to be different in terms of where the strength for the overall business is, and depending on where the strength in the, in the industry is, that's going to impact who's doing better. So some of it is uh, just uh, business mix, product mix. Uh, but you know, Goldman also saying for the second quarter in a row that they didn't navigate markets well. I think that's you know, yeah. what investors are focusing on a little bit more for the them. The CEO of Morgan Stanley, James Gorman, came to emphasize that the uh, second quarter results demonstrated the resilience of the uh, franchise <laughs> in a subdued trading environment. What is it about the Morgan Stanley franchise that enables them to do that? So I think they are the leader in equities. They have a broad-based business. That's the outperforming business this quarter. They had better than expected results there. Uh, the fixed income, as we know, they, they made cuts to that business uh, some time ago, they've, but they've sort of built it back over time. And uh, you know, I know there's a lot of focus that the revenue for the first half is, is actually bigger than Goldman Sachs, who's more known for fixed income. Still, as a percentage of overall revenue for Morgan Stanley, the equities business is more important, and their equity revenue stream is bigger.